All right, it is 1.30 Central, so we will get started. Welcome everyone to today's webinar, Delivering Activities from Plant Science, Corn, and Greenhouse Insect um, Curriculum Online. My name is Emily Klinsky. I am on the marketing team here at RealityWorks. Presenting today, we have with us Jamie McIntosh. He is our Real Career Product Manager. Jamie has been with RealityWorks for nine years and came to us with an extensive education background as a former teacher teaching in Wisconsin and in Colorado. His topics cover student engagement, technology in the classroom, gaming, filling the skills gap, business education, and various agriculture and welding topics. So he's a pretty great resource for today's webinar. So I'll go ahead and pass things over to Jamie. All right, thank you very much, Emily. <clears throat> really appreciate you um, being here today and uh, want to just um, talk for a little bit about some of the options that uh, and things we're going to be covering uh, today. So um, to start with, with our uh, Zoom meeting here, um, to begin, there is a place for a chat or a question and answer area for you. So if you are interested um, in that, uh, all you need to do is um, down at the bottom here, there's a little area that says chat, uh, put your questions um, or things that maybe you want covered um, that maybe weren't as clear, uh, put your answers in there and we'd be happy to try to answer all those. We will have a question answer um, time at the very end. So um, just to uh, help you in this uh, time, in this very unusual time, we also want to talk to you about um, with uh, Zoom here, we are recording this. We will be sending this out to you um, by email so you can have this. And then also I'm giving you direct links to your curriculum that is for your usage. So uh, just to kind of walk through that, we have um, on our website, realityworks.com. Uh, if you click on the area, so you have to go on here and, and scroll down a little bit, it says COVID-19 response. You click on the learn more. And when you click on that, it brings you into resources and ideas for continued learning. Um, this is where we have put, uh, for this time period, all of our um, curriculums and guides online for you, allowing you to be able to use that online in this, in this remote learning um, situation today. Uh, so you can go ahead and do um, and, and look at that. So the other thing that we have here is, as you click through that, just give you an example of our uh, work that we're talking about today in the plant science world. All you have to do is click on the hydroponics and plant science. As soon as you click on that, it then opens up to um, give you the different models and different uh, uh, curriculums on different products that we currently um, provide for you. And inside of those then, it gives you things like the instructor guide, curriculum, and then also uh, certification of completion, for different uh, products that your students might complete um, and the coursework that they do. So that is all something that will be pushed out to you. Again, um, we'll give you those links, but you can go just to kind of back up to our website, realityworks.com. All of those pieces are there, access your guides and curriculum, and you can get uh, all that information. So with that said, um, let's get started here. So uh, just to introduce myself again, my name is Jamie McIntosh, and you know, this is a very unusual time. I'm uh, doing this webinar uh, from home, like you are doing it um, from your homes or, or kind of isolated in some cases, but want to just encourage you as we go forward in um, some different ways that we have seen and we have worked with uh, different educators on how they are um, using the products that we have, curriculum we have um, as we uh, get started here. So want to start with some remote learning uh, and teaching opportunities here. So one of the things that came from um, interaction with different ag teachers and different uh, teachers from all walks of CTE is, is this uh, quote that came from uh, one of the teachers who said, hey, we know the content and we're looking for the correct approach. And this is a different world. It's not hands-on. And if you've been in any of our webinars before, you've seen and, and understand that, yep, uh, things are a little different. And so how do we then work in a, in a different light? So the first thing that I want to introduce here is I want to talk to you um, about um, just some ideas for how to do this online and remote learning. Now, again, lots of different ways you can do it. And every teacher is different and, and um, has a unique way of doing it. Here are some ideas that we want to share with you. So in this case here, I'm going to start with uh, building your course time. 
Now, you've been in it, and as the last day of April here today, um, it, this month has felt like a year for a lot of people. We get that, we understand that. And so maybe it's time to take a deep breath and say, how can I change something up? How can I do something a little different? Um, and, and we wanna help um, maybe give you some new ideas or maybe it's something you've heard from us before or heard before, but it's a, a reminder of, oh yeah, there's different ways to do this and it might just help um, to kind of be a breath of fresh air. And that's what we really wanna be is a breath of fresh air for you and what you're doing. So. Um, I have used the word plant uh, to get you to think about different ways of building your uh, course time. Um, and the first one is the P, and that is participate in relational educational time. One of the things that I've been uh, seeing and hearing and reading a lot about is educational time is important. But in this time, one of the things that we have to also look for is the relational time of our students. We don't get to see them every single day, all day long, you know, in the, um, the passing periods of a hallway or and study halls or, or different prep times and things of that nature, we see them very little. And so it's not only our job as, as really seeing how do we um, help them educationally, but also working with them um, relationally. What can we do to help them and, and see how they're doing? So participate with your students, tell them a story about your life and, and get that relationship involved with their lives as well. I think that's some, um, sometimes a, a big thing there. Another uh, one to, to work on here is to um, work with this idea of um, learning how to struggle. And so this is a time that is very difficult for a lot of different people. And I get that, we get that, we understand that. One of the things here is how do we learn how to struggle and how do we help our students learn that? Because life is a struggle. And so what are some things we can do to try to learn and, and almost coping mechanisms um, of how in the struggle, okay, what can we still do? And again, it's a different type of teaching. And I know working with a lot of um, FFA, AG instructors, um, you work with your students on how to be leaders and how to help um, students to see the task at hand, see what the issues could be and how to work through those issues. And so this is just another opportunity to reinforce and walk through, yeah, this is a struggle. How are we getting through it? What are some ways to do that? And that kind of leads into the A for anticipate the ups and downs. Other ideas and ways to help is there are going to be good days and there are going to be bad days. And um, I am just coming to hopefully be a, a help to you as teachers to say, we understand that. And not every day is going to be great. And that's okay. And hopefully that is a little bit of a weight off your shoulders as you're working hard and we see you working hard. Um, it's going to be ups and downs. Um, but we're going to get through this and, and you're going to make it through. So we appreciate what you're doing. The next one is new ways of learning. And this is kind of the fun one. Um, this is what we're talking about today. We have a whole bunch of different uh, learning opportunities here for you to walk through. And we want to help you with that as well. So want to talk through um, some new ideas, some new curriculum, maybe some new focuses. We're going to get that. And then the last one, the T, teach the fun. Um, there's a lot of tough things, but one of the big things that we can help to remind ourselves, remember, remind our students is that when you're having fun, learning is much easier. When you're having fun and, and making it fun, teaching um, can, can grab on and, and, and the, the learning opportunities can, can be remembered so much more um, if we can, we can teach the fun for our students. So here's some thoughts that we have for you that I wanna just walk through some teaching opportunities. So the first one here is um, this idea of remote lecture, okay? You're doing this right now. Um, uh, I'm doing this right now as I lecture to you um, is giving the opportunity to just you know, lecture and let your students get an understanding in a time frame of day-to-day of, uh, -day of how you're doing things, um, what is important, what are the key factors that you're kind of working, working on and working through, all right? Another one is lecture and then do some presentation slides. And that's kind of what you're seeing right now is I'm lecturing, I'm talking, but it's a visual at, um, opportunity to be able to see it. The next one we're gonna talk about is lecture, PowerPoint slides, and then hands-on activity. How can we get some students to do the hands-on? Because right now it's hard for students to do hands-on. And then finally, we're gonna talk about the lecture, the PowerPoint, and then a demo or doing some demo work with your students. So starting off with remote lecture, we always say it's important to have a focus. What's your focus for the day? Give them something to look at. If it's you lecturing, maybe it's something you're gonna share with them, show it, um, and, and give them something to look at. Um, use demonstration to help keep the focus. And that's kind of that thing where if you're lecturing, um, take a break every once in a while, give them a demo, tell them um, what you're doing or why you're doing it. So they kind of get that understanding and, and get that opportunity. 
and then have students respond to questions and discuss what they're working on. For a presentation style then, it's a lot of the similarities to just straight out lecture, but the benefit can sometimes be that visual, um, being able to have slides, have an ability to show pictures and visually see what you're talking about. And there's different ways to do it. Sometimes it's to do a demo first and then present your slides. Sometimes it's to do your presentation and then kind of do a demo. So you can either talk one way or the other to get them to understand um, what you're going and working on. And then the next one is adding activity into that. All right, explain the purpose of the lecture, the PowerPoint, but then have an activity that kind of reinforces and helps that. Now, the big thing with activity uh, in today's day and age uh, with remote learning is sometimes you can't be there to give them that activity. So you got to start thinking of different ways of how can you have them use what they have in their own uh, houses, in their own backyards, um, in their own uh, abilities to be able to do. And so sometimes that activity, that hands-on thing, might look different than planting something or going through and making something. Maybe it's things like drawing something or um, creating a, a video of something or different ways than maybe what you've done in the past. But encourage them um, to answer questions and to gauge their learning by their activity that they do and see are they getting what they need to know. And then finally is the adding the demo. And again, this is that demonstration where um, sometimes the demo could be the fun piece where sometimes you got to make yourself look silly or you got to make yourself um, uh, do different things that will not be done in the classroom next year when we get back into the classroom. So this is the time to do something totally different. There's hopefully never going to be a time like this that we have to deal with this again. Now is the time to kind of say, hey, in this one opportunity, what are some demo pieces that I can do that? So with that, again, our remote options is just going through and being able to look at different ways that can help um, with, with that. So let's dive into some of our activities here that uh, um, we're going to talk about. So first off here is the activities from Plant Science Kit. So we're going to go through um, and all the different plant science curriculum that we have, we picked out three main areas here. The first one is we're going to talk about Plant Science Kit. Then we're going to talk, talk about corn stalk and corn grain uh, models. And we're going to end with our greenhouse insect curriculum. Now the greenhouse insect is a special sneak peek because it has not even um, launched yet. And so that will be something that we will um, talk about as well. All right, so with this here, um, all of our curriculum starts with a focus, then moves to learning and then has a review. So it really kind of focuses in that kind of 45 minute to 60 minute class period, um, really holding on and, and working in, in those three areas. So. What we're gonna really focus on right now is talking through um, our plant science kit. So our plant science kit um, is something where if you have it, it is a great demonstrator. It has um, different models, it has posters. It's a great piece to be able to use um, in demonstration and online learning. Now, if you don't have it um, and don't have the, the hands-on components of it, the um, trivia game and the models and the posters, you can still use the curriculum. The curriculum still allows you with the PowerPoint presentations and the worksheets and the activity guide um, and the teacher guides. Um, it still is a very powerful uh, piece for you. But just to kind of talk through here, we have our plant science kit. And what I want to show you and walk through is that there are seven different lessons that are available for you in just the curriculum walking through um, introduction to plant science, plant cells, leaves, roots, stems, flowering plants, plant identification features, uh, photosynthesis, respiration, transpiration, and then career exploration. There are seven lessons that is wrapped up nicely um, in our plant science kit that you can use for free right now um, with your students. So with that being said, I'm going to walk through a little bit of uh, the plant science kit um, curriculum for you. So starting with an overview, this is one of the things that you could do and what we would suggest maybe being able to use for uh, plant science is uh, start with the focus, understand plant science, move to classifications, and then do a review and, and get into the uh, cell, uh, um, excuse me, the plant cell formation. So to begin with, we have a, a plant science mind map activity where basically it's asking students to ask questions about what around us is involved in the study of plant science? What is involved and let them actually start thinking and, and 
get outside, look around their house, move into different areas and think differently than what they see in a school or in a classroom, but what are they seeing in their everyday life that they pass every day? What is around us that involves the study of plant science? And then have them do a little bit of a, a talk or discussion, maybe do a little online research of different ideas of what plant science could be, and, and have a really deep conversation of what around us is all involved with plant science. Um, the plastic water bottle that you're using, you know, how does that involve uh, plant science? Uh, you know, the, the clothes that we wear, the, the bamboo cutting board that uh, you are cutting your food on. There's a lot of different things to kind of work through on finding ways and looking at what is involved with plant science. Um, again, with our uh, curriculum and our PowerPoint slides, then you can actually start talking about, hey, you know, here's some different examples that um, the curriculum talks about and have them start looking and saying, okay, how do these different visuals, what does that um, involve and what is plant science all about? So using the curriculum to really engage them and say, okay, start looking around and everything we do, it may include or allow your students to um, engage even more because it all of a sudden hits very close to home because they're in their home and, and seeing what's going on there. Now the learn part then is start working in the cla um, plant classifications. We have great PowerPoint slides and great worksheet examples, um, note taking opportunities for your students then to be able to go through what plant classification is, to walk through uh, non-vascular and vascular types of plants. And um, if it's seed dispersion or if it's spore dispersion, um, talking about dicot and monocot. So we have a whole list of different great visuals and teaching opportunities for your students to learn about plant science and what each different uh, um, kind of uh, classification means and why it's important to have those classifications. And then it breaks us down even farther into the plant cell structure and what is the structure of a flower, structure of a plant and going through that. So again, um, by doing all this, we have a review here. And one of the reviews, again, because you're in a different type of um, learning modality in today's day and age, um, sometimes it can't be that you can show them these things in the classroom or in the greenhouse. So one of the things you can do is, is have them draw the plant cell, have them do drawings, have them do coloring, have them do um, creating of their own plant cells with different uh, um, materials around the house or um, in their garage or different things like that or uh, go out and, and have them find different types of plants that are growing in their backyard or things of the nature but getting them to start do and, and have an activity and, and demonstrate okay yep I understand is very important especially now where they can then start showing this and seeing this and having that discussion or that interaction with what one student has versus another, getting them involved and engaged in that world. So just to kind of re-focus um, uh, here and, and kind of respond, that is a very quick little overview of basically part of lesson one and part of lesson two, introduction to plant science and plant cells. That is a very quick thing, but all of the lessons, one through seven, have worksheets, um, PowerPoint slides, interactive activities, uh, and uh, note-taking activities, um, group activities, different things for you and your students to be able to work on and use, um, again, all online. And all you have to do is go and find those uh, um, on our website, um, realityworks.com, and go to that COVID-19 response. And then all that is there for you to grab. All right, moving on to another uh, uh, two products we have is lessons from corn grain and corn stalk. So using uh, kind of an example here is, again, if you have the corn grain model or the corn stalk model, um, they are great for demonstration. Um, if you don't have these products, that is okay. The curriculum is still there. Uh, you can still use the PowerPoint slides, still use the, the uh, curriculum for, for this area here. Now, what we're talking in the corn stalk curriculum is probably about an hour to two hours of walking through the anatomy and the deficiencies that are involved. So a little overview here of this lesson that you can be using is um, the corn stalk anatomy, giving students a great understanding of the corn plant and what is involved with that. And then going in a little deeper of the deficiencies, talking about what the defic deficiencies look like, why is that important, 
Um, this is a great time as we are in the uh, spring season and uh, this kind of discussion should be happening when people are about ready to, to plant, when agriculture is ready to plant these um, different crops and what do you need to know and what do you need to be looking for as the season begins and all the way to harvest, how are you looking for these different identification um, and know the different deficiencies and how to identify them. So in the focus section, one of the things is the questions, all right? Just ask your students, do they know the parts of the corn plant? Um, you know, what do they know by just looking at a corn plant, all right? What are the different features and see, you know, how many students understand what the different features are, but also what's the purpose of those features? Can you um, draw a corn plant um, and label the parts from memory? Again, getting them to be active and doing something in this sense. Um, and then um, bringing out in one of our worksheets here is actually having them go through and label and get an understanding for the anatomy, being able to understand what's going on there. Um, the next piece here is getting into some of our um, slide presentations. And in this case, there's notes that you could do a lecture with slide presentations here, with your slide presentations um, like I'm doing now and have your students be able to take notes while you're doing that. Maybe it's turning it in for a participation grade. Maybe it's something that they can use um, for a quiz or a test um, that might be coming up. Those are different options there for, um, for them to use. But the great thing and the really cool thing is that our PowerPoint slides are very colorful exact representation of the different growing deficiencies or, or nutrient deficiencies that are out there right now. And the cool thing about this is that it gives not only um, the information about how this deficiency comes about, but what it looks like, and then what are the conditions that you need to work through and what you need to do to correct these problems as well. So we go through um, what a healthy leaf looks like, and then the deficiency of nitrogen, all right, phosphorus, uh, potassium, magnesium, zinc, sulfur, iron, and there's eight different um, deficiencies that you can work with and go through, and they are all uh, really nicely colored and organized um, PowerPoint slides for you to walk through and work your, with your students on how to visually inspect and understand what the deficiencies are, and then what you need to do to correct these deficiencies. So as you see these here, this is great opportunity to be able to share and get your students to have a really strong understanding while they may have to not be able to go out and, and go to the field or do these things, they can learn these things. So when the time comes that they get to go there at some point, they have a better understanding knowledge of these different things. Again, these are all part of the curriculum that we are giving to you for free. The next one here is a review. Once you've gone through and worked through the um, identification of the different deficiencies with the problem, we also have a corn plant here, a corn grain um, worksheet. And in the worksheet here, it allows you to go through and identify the different parts of the corn grain, um, allowing you to really work through and understand what those different things is, as well as going through and we have um, these great worksheets that talk about the different um, uh, or show different leaves and then the student can actually color and draw in the deficiency. Um, so they can actually look at here and see what the different deficiency is um, and, and have to, to draw it out. So visually to, to share and show that, allowing your students to get that hands-on activity as well. All right. With the time left here, I want to focus on um, our newest product. This is the greenhouse insects. And in this case here, um, just giving you a sneak peek here of our uh, greenhouse insect kit. Uh, this product allows you to show exact replicas um, and uh, larger than life size so they can see the texture, see the detail of larger than life um, uh, models here. But again, this is something that is just coming out. So this uh, kit itself is for um, learning purposes, but it won't actually be out until uh, the end of May. So something you can look at, but those of you who are on this, um, this call today, you actually will get some of the curriculum ahead of time. The curriculum is not supposed to be out until mid-May. 
to the end of May, we are gonna send you some of these um, curriculum pieces that we're talking about today uh, because you are on this webinar. So thank you for doing that. And hopefully this will um, uh, help you uh, to see what this, um, this product is about and give you kind of a, a, a new uh, view of what other products we have that are, that are available here. So with the Greenhouse Insect, what we have is again, um, really looking at and just defining in the focus area, what is a pest? Um, and then uh, learning, understanding the difference between chewing and sucking insects. And then we'll have an insect quiz along with this one. So in this case here, um, what is a pest? The focus is, is what is the problem that insects can do to plants? Okay, not all insects are bad for plants, but which ones are, are good for them, which ones are bad, and really focusing on greenhouse insects. Uh, why? Well, one of the big things is a lot of schools, a lot of you have the greenhouses. And so we are starting with this because we want uh, students to be able to walk into their greenhouse and work with the greenhouse and the different plants and, and uh, uh, the plants that they have right there in the greenhouse and what insects can be the most harmful um, in a greenhouse situation. So walking through and talking to your students, when you look at this, this picture here of um, why is there issues with uh, these different uh, leaves here? Um, why is it important to have the health of the plant? What does that do to you financially? What could it do cosmetically um, if you're trying to sell these plants? What are some different issues that could happen because of having pests in your greenhouse? Um, now, what we do then is we have actually um, slides that walks through what a pest is and then focusing on greenhouse insects, what are the issues that can be a problem in a greenhouse and why certain insects really like um, uh, the greenhouse versus out in the everyday world around us and then how to control and manage some of these different um, uh, uh, problems that you might have in there. Um, so. From there then, with this, now we have the insects that, that uh, in, the, in the case here with all the different um, details of every single type of insect, but that again is coming out in, uh, in May, so you can order that and get that. What we are allowing you to do and give you now is talking about the, the um, PowerPoint slides is just that. There is um, great information on eight different insects. And so from the chewing insects, talking about the fungus gnat and the shore fly, um, and then going into the sucking insects and going through what is their classification? What do they do? What is the damages that they do? And then ultimately, how do you then um, fix the problem? And what do you do to change this from being an issue? So walking through each of these. Finally, then we have a quiz for you um, on uh, the um, different greenhouse insects. And so with this here, what you see here is our um, insert talking about each individual um, insect and the problems that these insects uh, can cause. And there's a quiz that goes along with it, allowing your students to then be able to identify and then talk about what the issue is, what stage of their life cycle are they an issue, and what do you do in that world. So have this as an option as well. Um, with the quiz uh, for you as well. So with that said, I want to um, just again say that these are different options for you out there. You can go out there onto our website um, and uh, check these resources out. So classroom resources, realityworks.com. You can also go to um, our agriculture area and, and dig in uh, deeper into there for more product information. Some have videos, opportunities there, but then the free curriculum is also where um, you want to go. And um, we're kind of starting to wrap up um, some of our conversation here, but if you have questions, please make sure that you put your questions in the chat area and we're coming down to the question and answer section. So I'll give you a few minutes to um, type in any questions that you may have as we uh, go through here. So want to remind you, how to get your curriculum, because that's the real key feature here that we want to give out to you. So in this case here, go to the COVID-19 response to learn more on realityworks.com. You click on that button. And then from there, you go to the guides in the curriculum. And this is where then when you click on guides and click curriculum, it brings you in. You can go to the hydroponics and plant science area. 
pick what curriculum you're looking for. And when you click on that, it gives you instruction gu instructor guides, it gives you the curriculum and, and presentation slides, and it gives you any other guidance or, or features or pieces that we have that is involved in. Also, right now, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, some uh, great kind of savings that we want to pass along to you in this time. Um, there is 10% off our entire agricultural product lineup. So that includes all of our uh, animal science and veterinary uh, products, all of our hydroponics products, um, all of our employability and welding and trade skills products, and also all of our plant science products. So if that is something that you're interested in, um, right now is the time to uh, get that. It goes to the end of May where you can get an extra 10% off um, your uh, products in this world, okay? Now, last thing I wanna do, and, and thank you for um, giving me the time here, is um, one of the things that uh, we have for you is the ability here to just talk for a moment here about um, our hydroponic systems. So one of the things with our hydroponic systems that we have is this is another place that right now you might be at home or you might not be able to do this, but as you're getting ready for next year, here is some educational products that you can be thinking about and adding to your program in the plant science world. And so we have both a plant lab educational hydroponic system, which is three separate levels of nutrient and, um, and uh, uh, water consumption. So you can have different levels with different plants on each, each level. And then we also have the plant producer, which is uh, one um, nutrient uh, tub here, and then it, it does, and it, and it waters and feeds all three levels, allowing you to do um, three different levels of, of the same plant um, or, or produce in that world. So these are two different options, and kind of just to talk to you about it, um, a few things for that. One, uh, Fast Company, the, um, the magazine and online presence there, they have um, uh, highlighted reality works in the hydroponic system as one of the world changing ideas award winners for this year and they see it as changing how we um, uh, bring about uh, um, not only educational uh, philosophy and, and teaching but also growing methods and so that is something that we've just uh, gotten as well as um, this next week here we're going to be uh, featured and we're featured right now on the we are teachers website and we are giving away one of these units. So you want to go to the We Are Teachers website and in, uh, put, put your information in there because we'll be giving away one of our hydroponic systems. So another opportunity for you to um, get some cool stuff as well. So um, with that said, um, have a little time for some question and answer. Um, and thank you again for taking the time to be here. Um, and so want to just go to the question and answer and answer any questions that you may have. Okay, so we have some people sign in a little bit late. Can you just go over what everyone's going to be getting after the webinar one more time? No problem. And I'll just back up and, and kind of walk through that again. So um, what we are doing is the video, this, this video, we are uh, recording this webinar. So we will send this out in a video format so you can walk through and watch it again if you need to. Um, we will also have um, all the curriculum uh, options for you and kind of just walk through this again, but we'll have the link for you. So you can go and the way you do it is you go to realityworks.com and on our website, you scroll down and there's COVID-19 response and it says learn more. You click on the learn more and what that does is it gives you different resources um, and options here for the webinars that we've done, free lesson plans, um, and that's where you want to go in and get the free lesson plans for our product. Once you click on that, it opens up and you can then click on corn grade model or corn stock or plant science, the things we just talked about, and it will give you free uh, curriculum, all of our curriculum for you uh, and to be able to use. All right. So from there, then um, it gives you things like instructor guides, curriculum, um, layouts, and then also depending on what you've done, some completion um, cert certification. So you'll get that information of where to go and get that. The last thing is um, then you'll also get our certification of completion um, telling you about um, that you were part of this and that you uh, did this for, for any kind of development that you need. And then we also have, uh, we'll give you that information on where to get the 10% off if you
All right, Jamie, we do have, we have some interest in the greenhouse insects um, in the curriculum, but you mentioned that it wasn't out yet. So how are they going to have access to that curriculum? So great, great question. So just a reminder. So yes, it is not out until mid-May where we'll put it on, on the website there, but um, uh, we will be putting it in that uh, email tomorrow. What you saw today, you will get that lesson um, about greenhouse insect and how to use that because you're on this web uh, um, this uh, webinar today. So that will be sent out um, in a kind of a PDF format of that, that information for you. So then you can use that as you see fit. And then one last question. You mentioned the 10% off discount that we're doing for agriculture. Mm -hmm. Can you show them on the website where to go for the video, where they can see videos of our products? Sure thing, yep. So I will um, share here. I'll, I'll have to uh, do a different share here. So just one second here. So, all right, so sharing here, this is our uh, website, realityworks.com. And um, again, in this case, up on top here, it says products. And so um, in this, you should be able to see it saying products. You click on there, you go to our plant science area. When I click on plant science, it then gives you all of our products and what is involved in each of our products. So you can click on things like we talked about the corn stock uh, model. You can click on there and it gives you different pictures of the different leaves and different options in, in that world, um, what uh, the curriculum is about, and then any specifications that, that are available there too. Um, and then you can go back, you can click on the plant science, um, and it will give you more information as well. Um, it's, it's coming here, it's coming. It's being slow for me here. And maybe, let me, let me try it one more time. There we go. So, sorry, I jumped to the greenhouse insect because it was getting there. Um, here is, uh, again, the greenhouse insect, it gives you the uh, specifications, it gives you different pictures of uh, the different insects. Um, it has promotions and product support help as well for, for those. So, um, and then here's the plant science one. So you can go and view these on our, um, on our uh, website. All right, it looks like that is all of our questions for today, Jamie. Okay, well, want to just say again, thank you very much uh, for the time that you um, uh, uh, gave us here. If you have more questions, feel, feel, feel free to ask uh, um, by going on our information at realityworks.com or calling us. We wanna be helpful to you as you are in doing the hard work, working hard um, to help our students and, and really appreciate what you're doing. So um, if you have more questions, feel free to to uh, uh, get a hold of us um, through our information at realtywords.com or call us toll free and, and we'll get back to you um, to try to help you with your needs. Again, thank you for what you've done and uh, keep on doing the good work. Uh, keep on keeping on in um, these, t these trials. Thank you very much. Looks like there's one more, maybe one more question here. Yep. One more is how is the hydroponics different from the plant science section? Oh, okay. So the difference is it, the hydroponics has its own uh, curriculum as well. I didn't walk through that. That's another curriculum on, on how to grow um, using hydroponics, um, but it's, a, it's more focused on uh, growing hydroponic uh, through using hydroponics um, than just the, um, uh, the different uh, structure and foundational pieces of plant science you know, the leaves and the margin and things of that nature. That's the plant science um, kit and kind of going that. Hydroponic system is, their curriculum is really, is based on um, how to do, uh, how to grow in a water-based system. So that's gonna be another question or another way. Of doing it. So, yep. All right. So another question is, is I've downloaded some of the materials but can't open them because I cannot unzip the file. Um, there is a way when you click on the uh, file here, 
and maybe now, um, thank you for all who have, have come on, but maybe I can try to just uh, walk through um, some of uh, uh, that kind of um, help now um, in this world here. So let me share my screen one more time here, and I will just walk through, all right, sharing that. Um, in this case, how you would actually go through, because I know that is a question that a lot of people have asked is um, getting to uh, the product. So I'm on the very front homepage for us. I go to learn more. Um, in this case here, you go down to resources, all right, and it says free lesson plans. So I click on the free lesson plans. Oops, there we go. Uh, Got to go back. Excuse me. Let me read. Sorry, the guides and curriculum. That's where I want to go is guides and curriculum. Click on the guides and curriculum. Um, and then in here, it has all the different products here. And so all I have to do is click on the plus sign and I can go to uh, one of these. So I'll just go to um, the uh, plant science one here and it will show here um, a instructor guide curriculum and slideshow download, and then a certification download. So all I'm going to do is go to the curriculum and slideshow download. And now the hard piece of this is down in the corner here, it says understanding basic, um, and then it kind of cuts off and it says zip. This is where I'm going to uh, open or show in the folder. And so that will pop up in its own folder. Bring this over here. And in this case, it's understanding basic um, plant science. And so when I click on that, it should then, whoops, let me make it a little clearer for you. Understanding basic plant science. So it was um, a piece of this uh, understanding and it's a zip file or compressed file. When I click on that, it should open up to understanding. And then you just click again. And then inside, here are your PowerPoint slides and then all of your plant science um, curriculum in a PDF format that there for you as well. So walking you through everything you need in that way. So um, hopefully that helps um, and gives you a, uh, a little, as that walks through there, um, of how to kind of go about and grabbing all that, uh, that uh, curriculum. So. All right, with that, I thank everybody for this time. And if you do have more questions, feel free to contact us. We'll try to help in any way we can as you're going through this. Thank you very much.